And because on that unrelated and wait. off topic statement, ladies, gentlemen, others, welcome now to the sixth session of The Lost Island. six yes it has been six sessions it feels like more <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, wait 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 should i be concerned no, <laughs> time just... is an illusion and so is pants no just time flies when you're having fun <laughs> yeah i was gonna say that is either a, that's like, it's like that is either a time flies when we having fun or oh my god it feels like we've been playing this forever <laughs> Like I could be either really good or really bad. Anyway, first of all, I have a congratulation for in order. Yeah. Jeremy, whisper. As of a f- as of two weeks ago, we hit our twenty sixth session. Ep- we had the twenty sixth episode of the Lost Island uploaded. Since whisper joined on the fourteenth, that means that for the purposes of our audience, whisper has now spent as much time with the party as the party spent spent time without him. Therefore, I can 100% say, Whisper, welcome officially to the team. Yay! <laughs> Wazoo! Mm-hmm. Now of then. course, it, of oh, course yeah. Whisper in character would say, on your team. I thought it was my team. <laughs> <laughs> Like I will smack again. you with the staff. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. So, with all of that, I hope you guys have been looking forward to this. Yay! Excellent. And now, we shall begin with, as always, our recap. Previously... On the Lost Island. After Saber had been captured and rented for the time being relatively contained, tensions were high, especially with Corrin. Having recognized Saber as one responsible for certain events in the past, he had to be physically restrained from putting a dagger to the, his throat. The two kings, Horace and Khan, came to interrogate Saber, while while Corrin went to the bar to try to calm his nerves. While there, he encountered his old teammate, his old teammate Orne, who informed him that strange goings on had been happening across the island. The Black Hawks had been moving to engage the creature in the cove, and their old friends Dash and Xander had noticed similar goings on among around the island, especially to the north. Back in the prison, the kings questioned Saber, who revealed that he had been sent to the prison on the orders of King Mir, both to clear up some old debts, but also to take something from the party. As Saber himself said, you took something from Mia, so I will take something from you. He's going to take the hedgehog. (laughs) (laughs) Target the team mascot. (laughs) 
we Yo, must... <laughs> we Mr. Blob was out of this. <laughs> I mean, uh, I was expecting that a reaction. Wasn't what my plan was at all. <laughs> Still, as one of the most dangerous assassins in the world, they realize he might still have some value to King Nia, captured or not. And the kings decided that they could use him as bait to capture the pirate king and put an end to this madness once and for all. Still, many people are concerned about that. And with the infighting between the kings starting to grow once again, it has been decided by all of you that the best thing to do might be be to go on that expedition proposed long ago and finally see what is behind the curtain of the jungle. But there is much preparation that will need to be done before you can go. And in the meantime, one of you has decided on a plan of his own. The sky outside is still dark in the early morning hours as Corum Ethereum gathers up his possessions. His rest had been plagued by doubts and thoughts on recent events, and now, as he walks down the corridors of his family no home, he knows what he must do. Uh, DM, can I roll perception? <laughs> you will have to roll fortitude first to see if you're awake. <laughs> I'm a ghost. Why do I need sleep? <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not going to be perception, but I will say, Will, because your mind energy is sort of tied to Klaus's, it can be hard to stay awake when Klaus is asleep. Basically, you use Klaus's energy to protect you from the outside. You use Klaus's mind to shield you from the outside world, so when he's asleep, you go into sort of a stasis mode to likewise protect yourself. Make uh, sense? All right. Uh, I would also like to point out that my character does not need sleep. So basically only one who's currently sleeping is probably Klaus because I doubt Whisper is gonna uh, be asleep either. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, he would be in a trance because I know he's an elf. Oh, sort of, I'm a... Uh... I'm not technically an elf, more of an elemental. I'm, I'm the only one without the pointy. Right, so, uh, elemental born. So, ah. uh, yeah, looks human. That's cool. Yes. Does, yeah, does I just want to think whisper. about the fact that. <laughs> does thinking... Whisper need to sleep? No. Um, yes, but okay. he has a he has a skill that makes it basically so that uh, his perception doesn't take any penalties even when he's asleep. No. He's, oh. he, he, he remains alert to every sound to every sound around him even when he's deep in sleep. Yes. Okay. So here's what so here's what's going on. First of all, uh, those who would like to engage those who do need sleep and would like to see what is going on, I must ask you to make a fortitude or in Bell's case a will save to okay. try to wake up. Will save. Will. Oh, luckily that's my good stat. Okay. <laughs> well, I rolled a two, so. Woo! Oh my god, look at that 20! Are you kidding me? Bell is away. Now. Josh! Josh! Come look! I have the first kill! Yes! I, have I, know what, uh, I think I. I think that no, and that twenty will close up as well. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Actually. That's a Bell? 32! Yes, you may choose, if you wish, to also awaken Klaus. Uh... I'm actually going to see what Coram wants first. Or what okay. Coram's doing. Yeah. Now, well, before you can do that, I'm going to have to ask... No, Kun and... First of all, Ash, to answer you the question you posted me, Unfortunately, not. Uh, doesn't quite work that way. Yeah, but yeah, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> but what you can do if you're trying to keep hidden is I want you to make a stealth check, and the rest, the other two of you, please make perception checks. Alrighty. That was a fantastic roll. 
Did everybody just suck it? Yeah, that's... I don't know, maybe... I don't know, maybe you sucked it all out of them. Uh, so, Josh, you got a 15? 18. 18. 18. Uh, Ash, what did you get for your scout? 34. Mm. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, Ash... You, uh, you're able to stay completely hidden. Now, I know there's a certain person you might want to contact. So the question is, how are you going to alert her without alerting Klaus? <laughs> yeah, especially, especially, especially also since Kuhn is uh, standing in front of Klaus's door. <laughs> because yeah, of that, bloody course. That <laughs> makes things a little bit more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, damn it! If only you had asked for Fortunately, it doesn't quite work that way because she has the ability to read minds and establish a link, but you don't have the ability to project your thoughts. If only you had a master thief. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he could. I mean. If he wants to try that angle, I'm not stopping him. <laughs> so, do I notice he's there? Uh, that did, well, you, uh, Ash, you, okay, first of all, Doki, I'm guessing you would have shut the door. Yes, as much as Klaus likes Kuhn, it's a little bit creepy that he's <laughs> standing out there. Yeah, so... Until Ash opens the door, I'm afraid, no, you don't know he's out there. Okay, but I'm very awake. Oh, you uh, are. You are most certainly to... awake. Yeah, I was going to say, I assume that your perception was not higher. Oh, yes, uh, uh, you could roll perception, fair. Val. Okay, that's also a good thing I have. Mm -hmm. To be fair, perception doesn't just cover sight; it also color covers smell, sound, taste, and like, any and any form any form of any form of noticing. Yes. So if she rolls on perception, thirty six. What did oh, you get for yourself, Ash? God. What did you get for yourself, Ash? Thirty four. She. Yep. Bell, you are aware of Ash walking around more so than even the guard dog. That's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Want a biscuit, boy? <laughs> ah! But yeah. What was that? Uh, that was me yawning. No, the ah! That was me yawning. <laughs> oh. You got a Trust weird me, yawn. That's not, that's not even the weirdest sound he's made when he's yawned. Trust me, I've heard some sh- I live Stop. with him. I knew you were going to say that, boy. Anyway, so yes, you are aware of- of Corin. What okay. do you do? I'm just going to let him start doing what he's going to do. Well... Damn it. What is that? Because you don't know that uh, Mel knows of you. No, very, very fuck. <laughs> oh no, that's a bad start. Well, that's either a shipping name <laughs> or a fusion dance. Shut it. Never. Uh, um, okay. Corin would pretty much be making his way out of the house, but he would. The thoughts that are strongest in his mind at the moment while doing all of that is basically praying that Vel notices what he's doing. You he wanted can't... me to notice? Yes. <laughs> I see. Okay. So this is the question. It's like, would Vel, would Vel have, not no, obviously not knowing this, decided to peer into Corrin's mind? Oh, she would have, she, I was, I kind of, as soon as, like, he knows that, like, as he as he was starting to head out of the house, I wanted her to pop up and say, and just where do you think you're going? Which is exactly what happens. Which is exactly <laughs> what I wanted. <laughs> ha! <laughs> the answer to that is, and 
Yeah, I'm not keeping quiet personally because I can't be bothered whispering this. Mm -hmm. It's fine. We, we understand what's going on. Yeah. Now that Khan knows about you and with Saber's statement about Klaus being a necromancer, right now I'm dealing with damage control. If... Fuck. Hang on. What was the name? Ah! If Horace finds out that his brother knew but we kept this information from him, the consequences for us, and especially for Klaus, could actually be rather severe. I see. Do you want me to come and allay fears, or introduce myself or something? I was actually going to ask for the latter, because while I'm perfectly uh, content to speak about you, who you are, what you are, how we found you, how you ended up coming along with us, Honestly, I would. I actually believe that it would be best if it was coming from you. All right. So, do you have an issue with me hopping into you, or do I no. need to go on one of the swords? Doesn't bother me in the slightest. All right. It's just whispers, very squeamish about it. So, <laughs> uh, she. She lifts out of Klaus, pats his head, and then hops into Corum. Obviously, she wasn't she wasn't corporeal when she pat his head. It was more just a show of affection. But you know, she did. Klaus, uh, you do, his bed. Yeah, <laughs> you do give him plus two R points. <laughs> <laughs> Any hoozles? What, were you coming in to get me? Well, I would have if there wasn't a watchdog outside the door. You seem to have gotten past him just fine. <laughs> yeah, without direct contact. It... Anyways, lead on. I follow, obviously. Indeed she does. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we have our first sketches. <laughs> In any sense, Corin, along with Vel, you walk for over an hour through the streets of Tagora, the sound of flowing water and early birds keeping you company in this calm, early morning stroll. Light is beginning to come into the city as the sun rises, and by the time you arrive at the fortress gates, the faint haze of dawn has set on the capital. The two guards at the fort entrance recognize you and allow you entry. A short time later, you find, you, you find yourself standing before the throne of your king. In the corner, you notice a member of Klaus's order that you don't remember being there the last few times you spoke to Horace, and he seems to be staring at you very intently. What do you do? Uh, does Vel notice the creeper in the corner? You do, indeed. <laughs> creeper is creeping. <clears throat> creeper uh. no creeping. <laughs> <laughs> Corin, would you like me to sort of investigate that individual? I have a feeling that he knows that you're here already. Darn, the element of surprise is one of my few assets. <laughs> that and the big giant frickin' knight. That too. <clears throat> so, as the two of you are talking, you see Horace look over at the... at the shaman, and the shaman gives him a solemn nod. Yes, he knows I'm here. Yup. Okay. 
My lord, I am here to set the record straight. Now, I'm aware that you have been told certain truths and misunderstandings with regards to my brother and our party. To properly explain this, I actually have to go back to our first, well, misadventure. 